another video from lovinghairshop.com. I'll leave the information below, but let me tell y'all something real quick. First of all, the hair is nice and everything. I really do like it. You know, I had to customize it. But when I looked up the price just now, for the wig that I picked up. It is 30% off, which is great. I love a savings. I love any type of discount savings. Why is my daughter FaceTime? So anyway, as I was saying, as I, you know, I love a good savings for everything. Like it don't matter. I love a discount. Okay. So it was 30% off of the actual original price, which it states is $815.80. Girl. 30% off of that is $5.71 and six cents. Okay. The wig is 22 inches. It's a, a glueless full lace. It's 180% density. It was pre plus And I'm just gonna look at the, the details and let you guys know what you get with this 30% off wig for $571 and six cents. So it's pre-bleached knots and the lengths go up to 28. 200 grams, 100, 100% virgin hair from one donor. Um, it can last for more than one year. It's 180% density, natural color, pre-plucked, can be dyed, has adjustable straps, and it is Swiss lace. And I'm like reading some of these comments. Somebody was kind of like pissed off with the comments. You definitely got to shop around for hair and like other things too. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not just going to buy it just right then and there. Like, I know I don't. I mean, if I really, really want it, then I'm going to buy it. But first, I got to think about it, especially if it's pricey. I definitely will think about it. I'm the type of person who will go to Target, get a shopping cart. And, you know, I, I go to the clearance section first, you know, and I'll pick out some outfits off the clearance section and I'll throw them in my cart. And maybe like three or four and amongst other things I might throw in my cart. I will walk around that whole store. And by the time I leave, I done eliminated like almost half the stuff that's in my cart because I just got a second guess. I got a second think. I have to really like think before I spend my money. I can understand what that comment meant because... 871 is a little bit pricey. Now, don't get me wrong. The wig is nice and all, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we just going to get into this video. So, lovinghairshop.com sent me the 22-inch 360, 180% virgin straight. I'm not sure if it's Brazilian or whatever, but I'll definitely link it below for you guys. You know, I have to do my own twist on things. Like, even though it always says on a website it's pre-plucked and it's pre-bleached, I really have to do my own work. So, for one, I did pre-bleach it. I bleached it, okay? And also, I did use my tinting spray. I can't remember which one I used. I'm really thinking for sure that it was the Taylor Crowns one, you know, because it's already colored and I did do that to a lot of them prior to getting the wig extensions one. Let me tell y'all the whole deal about these tinting sprays, okay? For one, I like them because you can get close as possible to your scalp without using makeup and it makes it a lot more seamless, you know what I'm saying? But here's the deal what I have noticed about these tinting sprays. So once you have put them on your wig and you have allowed it to dry, you know, the tinting spray, when you are ready to adhere that unit, whether it be with hairspray, mousse, gel, glue, I don't care how you apply it. I noticed that the dyes, the tinting spray starts to run. You know what I'm saying? It starts to come off the lace. So I'm not sure if you really want to keep it, let it allow it to sit for a couple of days before you decide to apply it. And I'm only saying this because a couple of my recent videos, I did apply the lace tinting spray on camera, but I also did blow dry it to the full extent of it being dry to make sure, because I didn't really want it wet. Um, but I did notice that once I applied my hairspray to apply my wig, it started to run, which was not cool. I was not too happy about that. Semi-permanent. Semi-permanent to me is I don't really want it to wash away the first rinse, but you know, we, we will see. We will see how that works out. I pre-plucked it. I bleached it. I purple shampooed it for like a couple of hours, let it sit on there. And then I used the tinting spray. This is my elastic band. I can't remember if they sent me one or not. So I'll definitely put the information or the pictures that I took of the webs of the package when I first got it. And then it has the comb and adjustable strap in the back. Glueless full lace wig. Still pricey, you know what I'm saying? But you can part this bad boy wherever you want to part it. So we're just going to put this on real quick and we're going to see how it turned out. Okay guys, so we're just going to do this really quick. I'm not going to talk through the whole voiceover because you guys already know the steps but i'll definitely put the instructions down below so i just wanted to make sure that the wig would fit properly as you see on the sides the ear tabs are a little bit too long so i will be cutting that off as well but the first thing that i'm going to be doing is cutting the front lace off 
So the white speckles that you see on the actual lace front right there is from the wax stick from me pressing it with the hot comb. Sometimes it will leave a little bit of residue on your lace wig. So you want to make sure that you're using a good wax stick. Some of them make the hair really thick and very waxy and thick looking. So you want to make sure that you get the proper one. So this is the part where the wig doesn't fit properly. Like it's just a little bit of overlapping. Some wigs do have a lot of space but this one not too much but in order for it to fit properly i'm just going to make a part like i did and cut away that excess lace and i also do recommend making sure that you have clips on hand and always have a good rat tail comb so if you do need to part anywhere you have a good you know sharp comb and i'm also taking the other side off as well this will allow the wig to be a lot more comfortable and then you just want to make sure that if you have any type of makeup on or oils or anything, you clean off your hairline and your forehead a little bit. You can always put your makeup back on. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the sideburn hairs. Along with that, I'm also going to be creating some baby hairs. You don't have to use all of them when you cut them, but you know, it's up to you. And one of my favorite products is the Got To Be Hairspray, which is the Glam Force. This will give you about a good three day hold if you wear a hair scarf and depends on the activities that you do. Sometimes I can have it on for five days without removal. The only portion that I would have to need to respray would be the sideburn hairs. And then I'll just take my blow dryer on cool to medium heat and I'll just blow dry the product. But if you don't have a blow dryer, just hairspray it in small sections and press down like I'm doing right here with the rat tail comb. Within about a minute, it'll be dry, but just do small sections at a time so that way, you know, you don't have room for error. And always make sure that you get the side of your ear, which sometimes can be a little bit hectic. And then go ahead and repeat it on the opposite side. And I'll see you guys once I finish this portion of the video. I finally stopped running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Like go of every thought that was holding me back. Yeah. I'm in love with you in every way. That joy you give me every day makes me forget that I was troubled before. Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I never knew you could love someone like me. You climb my tower and you set me free. I never, never, never know felt like this before. I with you you want me now i know you do i know you'll be impatient and i love you for that you show me how to dare to love so tell me what you're thinking of because i won't be afraid not holding anything back don't know if i'm dreaming i'm slipping away i Hear your sweet voice, then I see your face I never knew you could love someone like me You climb my tower and you set me free I never, never, never know felt like this before I I think it's a good wig. I think it's a really good wig. It has a load of potential because you can do a lot of things with it. You know what I'm saying? You could put it up in a bun, a ponytail, all that cool stuff because it's a glueless full lace. But I think like for me, I would need just a little bit more density. Like it's not thin. It definitely is not thin. But you know, for the price, I'm gonna need some more hair. Okay, that's just me like, you know what I'm saying? But I do think that it's a gorgeous wig. It's 22 inches. You know, it does look like the average wigs that I have 
you know, reviewed on this channel. You know, I don't really do a lot of glueless full lace wigs, but I think it's still a really cute wig. But I think like it's a little bit too steep for me. The one thing that I did do different in this video is I had to apply my pressed powder. I noticed with the tinting spray, now this time it did not run. You did not see it run. I did not see it run. So you may need to allow the tinting spray to sit for a few days. This is the Taylor Crowns that's on this cap actually, but the color's a little bit too reddish for me. It's the caramel color. They do have like six different colors. You can either buy each one individually or you can buy them in a three-piece set. But the color was a little bit too reddish brown for me. Um, it, it matched my face a little bit, but not my scalp scalp. And you know, everybody's scalp is lighter. And I'm just like really particular about that. And I got like all my fat meat slipping out. You know, I got on my little workout outfit from my daughter's job, Airy. I love them. They got some really cute stuff. They always got 60 to 70% off clearance. So, you know, hey, and I get a discount too. So anyway, um, yeah. And then I also have my waist trainer on because y'all know I have gained some weight. And if y'all have not found that out, y'all could just look at my face and tell. I have gained, um... 10 pounds i am happy with myself i just want to lose my stomach that's it like i just really want to lose my stomach so loving hair does it mean like it's cute it, you cannot tell me i don't look cute in this okay girl no i'll I be like save the best for last i mean like and this is a really nice wig don't despite the price i always say save the best wig for last because i do like three or four videos a day because the last one got to be the best one because the best one it got to be the one that i'm gonna keep on you know girl be want to look nice and cute for the rest of the day but you know you could put it up in a bun or like in a little updo because it's a full lace it's you could do that with any wig let me stop front and listen i could sit here and do like this and i didn't really hairspray it too tough so i just took these clips and i think this look cute too girl hello workout hairstyle like, this look cute like this. Like, come on now. 800 and something dollars worth of cute. I mean, like, girl, you could get yourself cute. But you can check them out. Love my hair. I will definitely post the information below. Let me tell you something, though, real quick. The hair curl, like, flawlessly when I did style it. It's straight. I, I'm not like I hate straight hair, but it don't curl just like that. But this one held the curl. This wig been curled for like a month and a half now, okay? Just in the bag. The curls do stay, honey. Hello. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Let me know what you think about this hair, girl, okay? I'm, I'm